Hello, Onyem Furunanya Ahamuchi. Hello, my love. My name is Chi. Welcome to Chi Diaries. This video is going to be a tutorial of how I created this gorgeous, cute, heart butterfly bun hairstyle for my niece. You can see how cute the hair is. And to start off, you make like a capital letter T shape on the hair. Now you are going to begin to carve out your heart shape just as I am doing here. If you are a beginner and you want a tutorial of where I explained explicitly just only how to create a heart, step by step detailed tutorial. I have several of them, several of them showing different types of heart on my channel. You can check that out. The, it has a playlist it will be in the playlist i might link it in the description but if i forget please just after a comment i remember and i'll put it there so you keep carving out the heart until you are comfortable until you are satisfied with the shape that you have so i then proceeded to put a rubber band on it and then i made a rubber band hairstyle down the rest of the front of her edges up to her ear and then i made a single braid which was where i attached the beads so i will let you watch until we get there then i will continue explaining what i did From here, you can see me slaying her edges just lightly to make it look cute, cute for our outing. And then, when I was done, I proceeded to make the individual, like to make the side braids, one on the tail of the heart, and the second one at the end of this rubber band hairstyles. Yes, 
Yeah, she's learning in the mirror. <laughs> she's watching and she is learning. She is watching and she is learning in the camera. At least she can learn how to brush her edges for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to the ponytail. I previously used a hair band, no, it's actually a rubber band to secure that ponytail. But after adding my gel, I need it to be tight. I used Eco Styling Gel and after brushing the hair, I used a Brazilian wool or yarn to tie the bun so that it will be tighter and last long. We are going for a play date and I know that many things are going to be scattered. I do not want this hair to be among the things that will get scattered and you are going to see Okay, if only you watch that video, you will get to see what happened when we went to play. We went to explore a playground, like a park that is new in my area, Portacot, Nigeria. It's the pleasure park. We went there to just have fun and review the place. If you're interested in seeing what that looks like in Nigeria, when I upload the video, it will be in the description bar or you just check my channel among the recent videos close to this one and you will see how her hair fed at the end of the day it was looking as brand new as it is now <laughs> if i must say so myself i am the judge and i am the maker so when i was done with this i tied it down to set this is going to help the gel dry stronger flatter and hence better but she looked so good with this scarf man she looked so good like we had to take a break and i caught her admiring herself in the mirror my sister was like wow and that looks look and that looks really good with this scarf and i was like yeah that's true like it suits her she looked like a like like a millionaire a billionaire auntie like <laughs> she looked like a billionaire auntie in a school play <laughs> Anyway, so I proceeded to make the braids here because I didn't want the attachment to start to show any visible bulk. I wanted it to blend into the hair, so that was why I was attaching the hair. I fed in the hair extension little by little three times just to make sure that it's seamless. It is seamless down and it was. And when I was done, I repeated on the other side. Now, if you watched my bandica or butterfly cornrow hairstyle, the bandica hair or the butterfly feeding that I made, I detached it from my mannequin. I made that hair for demonstration or for tutorial purposes. So I loosed it from that head and used it to make her bone. So if you want to learn how I made what I will use to make her bun, you will see it very soon. You will have to watch that video on how to make yours. I just tied the rope to a chair and braided it and I was pulling it out just like jungle braids. It's like a jungle braid but feed in jungle braids that is detachable. You understand what I mean? Just keep watching. So that was what I used at the end of the video. At the end of this tutorial, not I didn't include it in the part of the tutorial for people who just want to create this thing with like normal braiding hair and they don't want it as fancy as a jungle braids type of ponytail, then they can just watch. But if you want to get exactly this type I used, you have to watch the end of this video. So I used a large hook to attach three rubber bands at the beginning of of the pony of those braid you know usually if you're using braiding hair as your ponytail you will just attach rubber band or a head packer or a hair tie and use it to attach it to your hair but in this case i had to improvise use a rubber band that way and now i can proceed to wrap and so man guys i did not pin because I didn't want this thing to come off while we were having fun and I'll have to start dealing with it too. I just sewed it in. She carried it for like four days. I had to take it down and make a, a more lasting hairstyle before she traveled back. So 
you can see it's it's temporal but it's permanent <laughs> so I just sewed it again you can see this is way prettier than a regular braid with with braiding hair like this is prettier I promise you this is prettier like when I was making her hair her brothers just stayed close they were watching like they were amazed they were like oh god that hair is so pretty like they loved it and as you can see that was them showing their appreciation the hair was like changing and then when I clipped in the butterflies oh my god my baby was looking like a million bucks <laughs> So everybody that saw the hair really appreciated it. It was really out there, but not overwhelming. Like it was out there. It was a statement piece for a child, but it wasn't inappropriate in any way. So you get what I mean? You get what I mean? Oh God. And the boys are there. The boys are there doing what boys do, but they were watching their sister get her hair done. And they loved it. They loved it. Hello. Hello! Look at that one. Look at that one. Worry, worry. <laughs> Miss you, baby. <laughs> anyway, when we were done, we attached the beat. If you don't know how to attach beads, I also have a video tutorial of five different ways to attach beads to your hair. Including when you don't have a beader, when you don't have a latch hook, how to use a string, how to use bobby pin. I have like, you have no reason, like you have no excuse. There must be something in your house you can use. So, you can check that video out in case you want to make this for your child and you're worried about what to use to attach the beads. You have nothing to worry about. So, we continued this. I was just trying to make sure the two braids were equal on her face. And you know the funny thing, when we were done, we were in a hurry to go out and I didn't like stop and make her pose for like just getting pictures for my thumbnail and for the hairstyle, like I didn't get any of that. That's why I had to use her picture from uh, outing. So guys, at this point we are almost done. So if you want to see how I made what I used for her ponytail, it is going to come up in a few seconds. And we are just making sure the beads are equal before cutting it off. I added as much butterfly as I wanted. And we left the hair. And, 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 and. This was me taking off. Who remembers this hairstyle? If you follow my videos, you will know this hairstyle, this tutorial. 
so I just cut it off because I sewed it on and used it for her bone don't look at my big forehead I used one and for my sister